and then drop it in. When I give a nice, wide, powerful shoulder to force that block to come through, you know, and then I can just go, I'm going to have to go down there if I want to. But, you know, I want to, even a step's going to help you too. It's going to make him come over even farther. The key is he draws his defense over yeah. and presents well, his shoulder. The important thing to do in all these situations is to block late. You have the advantage of receiving the shot, and he has to transition, you know, time and space to get to you. So you can be patient. Just throw a fast shot. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Just time and patience. Go ahead. Careful. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. See, I can just wait for that development to occur. You know, not panic. Or out block. Don't over block. Yeah. You wait for that last minute to block. That not only last minute, last split second. Wait till that, that that's committed to. Now, if I were to come over and you're just doing a normal sword, and I come over here, just reach for the block, whatever block you're gonna do. See? And that forces that. But that's why you want to wait till full development. See? And then back guard block, and then counter return. So yeah. But yeah, that slight angle adjustment is nice. Like make it look like a normal blow. I mean, but if you're standing square with me too, you know, I can just shoot down too. But I use a bending knee technique to reach that area. Though it's high risk because I drop low. But the response for this is to grasshopper out of that with an upper thrust. See? Jump out. <laughs> That's like a full commit. So, but make sure you saw them. <laughs> All right.